Hey everybody, Burf for Gaming here, back with another First Look video. Today we're going to be checking out Clockwork Empires, published and developed by Gaslamp Games. The game dropped on Steam earlier this week in its 1.0 version. It's been in uh, early access for quite a while prior to that. And I actually picked up the game when it first released in early access, and uh, it's an interesting little game. I sort of struggled with it, but it plays very similar to RimWorld, if you're familiar with RimWorld. It's a uh, sort of like real-time strategy, city builder, management sort of game where you're moving little people around on screen as they build houses and gather resources and cook food and fight enemies and so on and so forth. Um, with the primary difference being that this is set in a Victorian sort of steampunk Lovecraftian type world with a lot of really weird things that can happen. Um, so the game is currently available on Steam for $26.99 on sale, and uh, the regular price is $29.99 if you guys are interested in picking it up. I'll have a link down in the description for you to the Steam page. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump in and do our usual first look thing. Again, uh, this is my first experience with the 1.0 version, so I'm not entirely sure what to expect, but I will warn you guys that uh, I was terrible at the game then, so I'm probably going to be terrible at it now. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or the game and you'd like to see more of it. And don't forget to subscribe as well, it's the best way to help the channel grow and the best way to follow along with all of the new First Look videos that I cover. So let's dive in. We'll create a new world, it's going to take a little bit of time. Okay, so our world is created, now we have to choose a colony location. Now most of these are going to be blocked off, we need to... Uh, meet certain requirements in order to unlock them, but uh, there are several that we can choose from. Let's see, that one is temperate. Um, so that is probably the lowest difficulty that we can choose from, which is probably what I should go with. This is also temperate here. I kind of like that coastal one though, that seems like a nice spot. Um, let's see, that's also not a bad one. That, diff that uh, loadout's a little bit more difficult. That one's kind of inland. It's a little bit snowy in that area. I like... I kind of like that one. Let's go with that one. So, biome is temperate. The difficulty is 1 out of 3. Loadout is standard. Um, again, 1 out of 3. The dominant foreign presence is the Republic. Mechanique. Whatever that means. Um, apparently, it's like some steampunk French Republic. And... I guess we'll leave the tutorial enabled, because I am not familiar with any control updates that they may have added. So let's set course for adventure. Okay, so we'll get started in just a second, but I do want to say that the load times are a little bit longer than I would have expected for a game of this type. Granted, they are procedurally generating these maps and stuff, uh, but still it seems a little bit lengthier than I would have liked. Alright, so welcome to the colonies. There's a lot to learn about managing a colony, but first take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camera controls above. The game has been paused while you read this. You can pause or unpause with the space bar at any time. So exactly like uh, RimWorld, for example. Although this, again, this game was out in early access well before RimWorld was even a thing. Um, when you're ready, click the button below to start. Further, de further tutorials will appear on the right side of the screen as you play, but feel free to explore on your own as well. Okay, so we rotate the camera with the middle mouse, we zoom by scrolling. Uh, okay, so we just click it and it rotates a fixed amount, that's good to know. Uh, zoom in and out by scrolling again, zoom to location by right clicking. And we can also pan the camera with up, down, left, right. Okay, so we'll get started. I'm gonna pause, hopefully nobody gets knocked unconscious by those. I have seen from other playthroughs that I think they can be injured by that. Stuff will fall on them and knock them out. Okay, so we've got a bunch of little Victorian people here. Um, the way this game works, and one of the most interesting things that sets this apart from like a RimWorld or any other game like that, is that it works off of a class system. So, you'll have people who are, let's see if it says, no, it doesn't... Let's try clicking him, because it should say somewhere what their class is. Or it should give you some indication somewhere. Because he... They would appear to be middle class, the guys with the vests. And then we have these guys, who uh, um, are lower class. So... Let's see... 
create an assignment or assign to a work building. So he's going to be like an overseer, for example, whereas this guy needs to be assigned to an overseer. And so they have to have like separate living quarters. Um, they have to do different jobs, things like that. So you have to kind of inter intermanage all of these various uh, classes. There's also the aristocracy who are going to be, you know, even higher up than that. So the first thing we need to do is build probably some sort of... Let's see here. Chop trees, mine surface nodes, forage, clear terrain. Well, that might be a good start. Can we clear all this? Can we flatten that out? Forage, chop trees, clear terrain. I wonder if we can flatten the terrain. Clear all of that for me. Don't do that. Um, can you get rid of these rocks, possibly? Yeah, the controls are completely different from what I am used to, at least in this game. Um, so clear all that for me. Yeah, just start making room, I guess. We're going to need space to build, and there's not a lot of it right now. Although those big rocks don't look like they can be busted, at least not with that. So if we go to mine, we can mine these surface nodes. Grab all of those. Let's get all of those as well. I think that's a pretty good start right there. And then what's next on the tutorial... So all work is handled by overseers. Each overseer can take one task or building at a time and can be assigned lower class laborers to speed up their work. Overseers are your hands to do any work that needs doing. Every colony needs wood, stone, and food, so let's put your overseers to work. Along the bottom of the screen, you should see a list of four icons. We've already started doing most of that. Um, have we really seen any trees? I guess there's a couple over here. No, we don't want to do that. Um... Yeah, chop some of these trees around the perimeter down. Why won't I, why won't it let me select those? Eh. Oh, it's still on mining, that's why. That makes sense. Yeah, get some of these in here. Uh, do Yeah, do those as well. Okay. A lot of assignments, not enough people to do it, but we'll be fine. Buildings... Modules. I want the. Um, I'm not sure where it is. Carpentry workshop, kitchen. No, I want like the. The gathering area, or basically we just tell them where to put all the food and stuff down. But I don't see it, so I'm sure the tutorial will tell us. So we're done with all that. Let's get them to work. Zones. That's the one I'm looking for. Cool. We can flatten terrain. Um, we're not concerned about that yet. Stockpile is what I was looking for. Let's get some stockpiles going over there. And we can't build one there because that terrain's all messed up. They, they'll take all the food over there. And then we should probably start flattening out some of this area as best we can. Because this is like right in the middle of our lands here. So hopefully they flatten that. Oh, did I just undo it? We'll see. But we got people mining, we got people digging up plants, we got people moving stuff. Plenty of work to go around here. Now, morale is really, really important in this game because as their morale goes down, weird, terrible things start to happen. They'll form like weird like murderous cults and start murdering each other or worshipping demons and devils and things like that so um, you really gotta stay on top of these people you gotta make sure they're happy which is really difficult to pull off sometimes more difficult than you would expect it's it's a lot harder than like RimWorld where you know people will occasionally go crazy in Rim, RimWorld but typically you know they'll recover or if you lose somebody you can kinda make do without them in this game, the downward spiral can hit you very, very quickly. You'll be doing fine, all of a sudden a cult will pop up, and you will basically just get obliterated. Now again, I'm, I'm speaking from experience from older versions of the game, so that may not necessarily be true of this version, but again, that's you know what I found from my previous playthroughs of this. Um, airship Mast. Ooh, there's airships now. That was not something that was available in the build that I played. Plant shrubbery. 
modules, crop fields, that's what we want. So let's start building some corn. Corn is going to be very, very useful to us. I can't put one immediately next to that, can I? We'll wait for them to flatten that out and then I'll put another one in next to it. Wheat would be cool too, but we don't have the ability to make any of that yet. Okay, so overseers. Another important thing overseers do is haul the goods around for easier access, but you already know that, don't you? Seeing as you've already built a stockpile, overseers who aren't busy will automatically move goods to stockpiles and you can click the stockpile for more settings. So you can do like a uh, stockpile for raw materials, another one for foods, and another one for like dead things that need to be butchered. Um, overseers too, it's probably around tea time by now. About time for your call on this first break of the day. Eh, whatever. We do need to build some sort of like flop house though. Workshop, outreach, public services, housing is going to be important. Where should we build this? I'm thinking... One thing I've always had issue with in this game is it's really, really difficult to organize things the way you want to. So I'm going to throw it down there. We're just going to make like a big flop house with a bunch of bunks in it. And then we can put different modules in there. Um, we're going to need a door, obviously. So basically you just move this around, um, right click to rotate it, and then left click to confirm it. It won't let me build one there for some reason. Why can't I build it there? Do we not have the requisite materials? I, I'm not sure. Maybe I have to wait until they move a little bit further along with this. We'll see. Why are you just standing there, pal? What's going on with you? It's been gossiping sadly. Gossiping about the hardships of the lower class. A lot of these uh, laborers aren't really doing much. I should probably go to the job assignments. Huh. There is plenty of stuff to do. Currently pause. No, keep that going. Office management. Let's see. Maze farm. Let's assign somebody to that. Stone working. Let's see. Stone working and cooking. Farming. Okay, so. Boot temper or Ebenezer tar is going to be our best choices for that. Uh, I'm going to go with Ebenezer. So go ahead and uh, take charge of that. Faction relations. That's something entirely new as well. Looks like we've got some sort of like French analog. That looks like a uh, Holy Roman Empire flag and based on the name I'm going to assume that it's supposed to be Holy Roman Empire. Then we have Grosser Zogonentum von Stahlmark, which could be like Prussia or something maybe. I'm not sure. Overseers. Uh, I don't think we need anybody right now, but let's see. I'll give you one, and I'll give you one. How are we doing? What do we got here? Ooh, gold. Off shift, okay. Is anybody going to build this place? I'm actually going to speed things up just so we can move through this a little bit quicker. But it looks like they are slowly clearing this area out. How are they doing on flattening out the ground? Uh, it doesn't look like they've really done any of it yet. Probably too much other things for them to do, obviously. I give them, I've given them tons and tons of different jobs, so it might be a while before they get to any of it. But I would love to have all this area available to work in. You're just mining away, mining away. At least we'll have plenty of stone. We'll need a uh, stone cutter before we can really do anything with that, though. So let's see. How much for. What do I need for an overseer's house? Uh, 
buildings. Bricks. Okay, that might be difficult. Um, what sort of module? Actually, let's go to workshops. Carpentry, kitchen, ceramics, chemical, metalwork. Well, we should probably get a carpentry workshop so we can actually start making planks out of all this wood. Um, where to put them, though? Maybe, like, over here? Let's throw down a carpentry workshop there. And let's see, modules, we'll put in a door. Oh, we can't yet. But you can do like roll-up doors too, which are pretty cool. We got various objects. This is the uh, carpentry workbench. So, I mean, that's obviously critical to a carpentry workshop. Um, it might be nice to fit a few of these in here. Obviously, the more of these you place in a building, the more people that can work on whatever uh, task you know, that's assigned to. So if you put three of these in here, you can have three people cutting wood. I'll just throw one down right there. And as soon as we can get a door, we'll put one in. You can also put down windows. So let's see. I don't know where to put the windows. Interesting. Maybe I'm not placing the door properly. That could... Yeah, I was going to say that could totally be it. So we'll throw down a door. Oh god, don't do that. Throw a door down. I don't know if that's where I wanted it necessarily. Can I cancel that? There we go. And let's throw a door down there. And I'd also like a door to the flop house somewhere. We're going to need bunks as well. But uh, that doesn't look like something we have access to yet. Yeah, we're going to need to... Um, let's see, requires cot made in the carpentry workshop. Okay, so that's something that we have to make specifically for that. Uh, are you just stuck? What's going on with you? Yeah, he's totally stuck. I don't know what to do about that. Hey, pal. Hey, hey, guy. Okay, so he's just stuck. These guys still aren't working. I'm pretty sure I assigned you to an overseer. Um, I don't think I can do anything from that particular screen. Um, job assignments, no. We'll go back to the overseers. Yeah, our, our unassigned work pool is zero. So I've assigned everybody. Oh, I was paused. Whoops. That explains it. It threw me off because they were still moving. They just weren't walking. They were still, like, picking away at stuff. Okay. So, we cut down a big tree. Got an achievement for that. And it looks like somebody is starting to get to work on this building. So that's nice. Um, let's see. I need... No, that's not right. We want modules, yeah. Because I need to put some windows in here where these people are going to go crazy. They might go crazy anyways. In fact, it's pretty likely that they will. But I'm going to put some windows down just in case. Because it really doesn't cost me all that much to do it. That wasn't symmetrical, was it? Um, I'm going to move this one to make it match. Because I want like some sort of lighting adjacent to the door. And we'll throw one there, and that still looks kind of off, but oh well. Maybe the door's not centered. That could also be it. Whatever. Works for me. Okay, so we can close that now. And oh, they're actually doing some serious work on this. So they're going to go flop down inside the uh, building that's at least somewhat assembled because obviously we have no beds hopefully they finish this fairly soon so we're gonna need to do a lot of other stuff to get this colony up and running we're gonna need let's take a look at some of the other modules and stuff um, 
Obviously, a kitchen is going to be very important. We got to feed these people. We got a lot of food laying out here, but it's not going to last forever. Um, ceramics workshop, probably not the most critical thing, at least early on. Metalworks, obviously, something you're going to need. A barracks is very important because you need to defend these people. And you can't train troops until you have a barracks. Um, what else do we have? A mine, obviously, is probably something you're going to need. Uh, let's see what else what else what else uh, we'll need overseer housing we have a lot of overseers so that's something that we'll need to take care of fairly soon and uh, yeah there's obviously other things that will improve your settlement but there's quite a few that are very critical to the operation that we still need to get placed down here okay so I'm actually going to Let's take a look at the office management. We do not have the... Um, I guess because the building's not finished, but we don't have the carpentry lodge on there yet. Alright, so hopefully they wrap this up pretty quickly. Hopefully somebody's working on it. This guy's running around like a madman. He's either really happy or he's lost it. Oh, maybe he's running from this bull that's just charging through my settlement. Either way, yeah, that carpentry building is not complete yet, and we can't assign anybody to it until we do. Or can we? Hmm. We'll figure it out. This is leading me to believe that I can. Okay, so I can. Um, assign... Who would be best at this? Nobody would be. So chop trees, chop trees, chop trees, and chop trees. Well... You're better at naturalism, so that's probably not a great place to assign you. The art of war, so you should be in charge of our in charge of our uh, militia. You might be the best choice just because somebody else is farming and that's all you're good at. Stoneworking, stoneworking, and cooking. Okay, so it's gonna be you. Congratulations. Select product. I need planks. And let's see. I want to just make it indefinite. Maintain a minimum of one plank. Maintain a minimum of 10 planks. Well, you know, let's go more than that. We'll call it like 50. So they're just always going to make planks until we have a huge, huge excess of it. Yeah, just keep making me planks until we run out. Or, run out of wood, yeah. That. Okay, so he's working on this house. That's nice. We might have some housing for them fairly soon. This place is nearly done. Actually, it might be done. If we change the building view, yeah, it is done. Okay. So that's being worked on. This one is nowhere near completion. There you go, we got planks now. Okay, so I think next up we're going to need a kitchen. What is this? A mine, housing, public services, public house. Eh, we'll, we'll try that. We need somebody making food. Where should I put it though? I'm going to throw it down over here. Yeah, that looks good. The planks are coming, don't worry. And then inside there, we're going to go to the kitchen tab. We'll put down a door right in the center. And then it looks like we can only do the stone oven, which is better than no oven at all, I suppose. Where do I have to build it? Interesting. I would think it has to stick out a little bit. But it won't let me place it there. Let's see. Planks and stone. We have everything we would need. Maybe the wall has to be down first. That's entirely possible. So we'll wait on that one. I don't know if a window is even necessary on this side of the building. I probably won't bother. Oop, don't do that. Yeah, we'll wait until the walls get up and then we'll throw one in there. Actually, we can test it on this one. 
No, I don't know why it's not allowing me to. Maybe it's the wrong kind of building. That's entirely possible, too. But I'm not sure which building I would have done then. A workshop, possibly? Oh, yeah, it was supposed to be one of those. Okay. In that case, let's uh, cancel. Can we cancel that? Let's go to module and see if we can delete this. Hmm. Okay, so how do we change the building type? Because we can't really make use of this. Can I just like draw it on top like that? Can I convert it somehow? I am not entirely sure. You know what? We're just going to build a new kitchen over here then. It's easier. So build me a kitchen there. And this will be something else. And I think we're actually out of time for the day. So, this has been Clockwork Empires. Let me know what you guys thought of the game. Again, it's, it's very similar to RimWorld. Um, you know, obviously better graphics. Um, a little bit more interesting setting, in my opinion. And some cool little additions to the game that, uh, you know, add a little bit more depth to it. For example, the class system and stuff that you need to manage and all the weird uh, Lovecraftian horror stuff that can take place if things go wrong for you, which they almost certainly will. Um, oh, auto save. So, let me know what you guys thought in the comments, or what you guys think in the comments. And again, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or the game and you'd like to see more. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Clockwork Empires with you guys, and I look forward to seeing you back here for my, for my next first look video.